was losing composure. Yeah, <laughs> like we were up three one. Series continuation. We were up three one because it's continuation of the. Oh, so it was all his fault. You think? Oh, 100 percent. Yeah. Mom. <laughs> that, that was the only loss like the only tournament that's the only loss I'll ever blame someone for losing literally oh my you were the god. reason yeah, why we lost really it. <laughs> oh my god feeling better than I ever been Cairo in his bag this beat is heaven sin back up in my element new whip trunk up in the front I whip an elephant Uh, the Optic Texas merger, and apparently Krim almost played for Optic again. What happens? What happened? He did. With that? Don't talk to me. I got dropped. <laughs> All, right. All right. So here's how it happened. Hector was. We were talking about potential business moves, where the company was going, yada yada yada. Envy was one of the options. So we lost to Champs, and I instantly was told Envy now is merging with us. Right. So I was like, What the fuck does that mean? And this sucks for Matt because Matt was on the oh, team. Oh, you were collateral. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Matt, honestly, Matt and Dylan, I felt so bad for them because it was a roster move that we didn't want to make. Not that bad. Um, <laughs> and it just, they kind of got caught, caught in the crossfire, but whatever. So, yeah, I found out right after Champs, we got sixth place. I was fucking heated. Hector's like, uh, Envy is now merging with us. And I said, so what does that mean for the team? And he's like, well, now we've acquired their players. And Krim was obviously one of their players. And so... <laughs> that would have been so trolly. So I get on a call with Krim for like 45 minutes outside on like Sunday night. Like, and this is after watching like FaZe win and everyone... I was Sunday pissed. night of champs? Yeah, it was like Sunday or Saturday or Sunday. Oh, it was so a day it was or two right after. after the event. Huh? It was a day or two after. Was it a day or two after? Yeah, so like after we lost, was it a day or two after? After, well, after we event? lost, you like, were out. like we were basically we were traveling back, and that's when <laughs> that's when people started understanding. But it's fine. It's you're good. Your story's good. But yeah, we we talked on the phone for like forty five minutes and just talking about like what's gonna happen, you know, how's the team gonna work and all that. And I was like, I'm coming in. I don't want to intrude. It was just supposed to be me. Right. Um, but you were gonna be the only one. Yeah, from it was just the supposed to be me, Aunt Illy, and Krim. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can I can speak to this a little bit. I, I heard like two and a half, three weeks before champs that this was kind of potentially going to happen. Oh, so you heard before champs? Yeah, yeah they couldn't have planted that in my ear. Damn. No, I didn't. I didn't tell. Obviously, I didn't tell the players that it was something that was going to happen. Like after champs and things were done and things settled down a little bit, a day or two after, I I called Inder and Ann about it and told Porter as well. Um, you didn't tell me what the fuck. I didn't tell you. I'm sorry, but. Um, and yeah, like like kind of what Seth said at the, at the start, it was kind of supposed to be the three of us, and then Seth, um, and then a lot of things happened last year with with Porter on the team that weren't the ideal, I'd say in some ways, and just like kind of how we dealt with the roster change with with having to drop Clay because of the five v five, the four v four after the modern Fair oh, champs, right, right, right. which sucked tremendously. Um, but the players ultimately make the decisions. Like, I think we're still in the world where the players have to be comfortable with what's going on. We can't force things upon them. Um, so when things were discussing, like, Ender and Ant were very vocal about, you can speak to this as well, we're very vocal about how things didn't go the way they planned. They didn't really see how things were kind of be fixed. There's a lot of problems that they saw, issues with how things went with Porter last year that didn't really go through again. Um, and that's when the decision was made to kind of, like, move forward and, and have set and then... Um, obviously, Brandon, great player, great mind, and we were super. Everyone was super excited about having him on board, and things are things are where they are now. Season's about to start. Things are looking good. Yeah, things are looking yeah. good. <laughs> I think we got a we got a good dynamic going. We all bounce off each other. We've yeah. been working really well together. I feel like we've been improving on certain things pretty much every single day. Yeah. Don't really have any stagnant days, so that's good. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm happy. I mean, I'm chilling. You know, I just feel bad for. Matt and Dylan. I mean, I'm chilling. Yeah, but Matt's Matt. I think I feel like you're. I feel like you're in a better place now too, because you say. saw Vanguard come out and you've said to me, "You're." He's like, "Holy shit! I can't believe you're playing that all year." No, I didn't have to change up like much of my life. Like Dylan, you guys just shipped him off to Cali. Said so, like, "Good luck with these." Yeah, Dill. I feel bad for Dill. Now yeah. he's stuck with Nade Shot at the Hundred Thieves Comp. I bet you Dill misses us. Oh, he misses us. Dill's got to miss vibe for sure. Hundred percent. Shouts out, Dill. Shout out to Dill. That's a real one right there. Real, real one, one caught in the crossfire. He knows that, though. He knows that. So that's, that's. I heard there was beef. He might be out for fucking blood this year. Probably. Is. I heard there's a potential you guys play them round yeah. one. There yeah. is a potential. Our first oh, I fucking hope yeah. that happens. <laughs> I'm going to be watching that shit. There is a potential we play them round one. That'd be a good one. Interesting. That would be a good one. Yeah. Start off the year. You better dominate them. 
If you could alpha by Dale, I'll never let that down. <laughs> so the I'll never let that down. I'll lose full. For the first event, because the kickoff event is basically the seeding's based on last year's champs. Mm. And with the new team coming in, they I think they get last seed. Mm. Or some of the seeds. But anyways, it's just, yeah, like we... We play the winner of Paris and LA Thieves in our first match. It's looking like Story Thieves. Storylines. Yeah. Oh, but we haven't played we haven't played Thieves in a while though. Yeah. The league's Thieves. more competitive this year, I think. The league is very yeah. competitive. It's more competitive than it's been the last years for sure. But this game, all uh, I'm not getting fun. You guys have only put hard points up for though. Yeah, we've only been playing. I'm like playing some search as well. But I'm not getting fun. So there's no third game mode yet. <laughs> yeah. It's I mean, looking it's like there, control. But it's not functional yet. <laughs> so going into this first tournament, there's only two. We don't know what we're playing exactly yet. And it's in a week. Yeah. Not ideal. Um, that's you're like, definitely playing like we, two. Like we, we, two like control is poten- like, not potentially. Control oh, yeah. has kind of been announced as a third yeah. mode. They're just it's working just, on it. It's just work, like it's being worked on still. There's still issues with it. That's kind of making it problematic oh, yeah. in place. They so. That shit. so, yeah. We scrimmed, uh, we scrimmed Zinni's team yesterday, and they scrimmed control before, and it's so bad. We were like, is it even Don't worth playing Don't you spawn it? and like... Yeah, it, we were like, is it even worth playing? And they were like, no, <laughs> probably not. No. No, it's not worth playing. No, just rerun HPs. And what do you think it'll be? Will well, I mean, you guys might know. Three hard yeah. points? Or? We don't. We don't know. And I, I mean, I hope what? it's three hard points, two searches. Three yeah. searches three would be searches. whack. That'd be whack because you'd start off with a search. I would. How are you supposed to get going in the search game one? No, I but think then a, game, hard point, a game five, five <laughs> search, hard, a game point. hard point game two. You don't check Wait, that. I'd be. How, would it start with the series? Start yeah, with yeah, the search? Nah, I would. My what assumption. If you go one and six point, map one, you are checked. It's like you didn't even get gunfights map one. You just got credit six times. I think. I think it would be honestly like the only way to make it proper would be hard point search, hard point search search because of that I am cold going going into map 5 I'm ice going into map 5 so basically you're happy you retired when you did yeah I've been having a lot of fun on Halo Um, I thought you were dominating the the Halo tournament how was how was that yeah it was fun I mean (laughs) did you like did you fall back into it pretty easily yeah I mean playing Halo is like just like really fun for me like I'm sure Ann can attest to this too like even Damon like we've all like played Halo before, like, just, like, for fun, and then, obviously, I played pro. Damon could probably go pro. Top like, 24 you amateur. There you go. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? You said, yeah, me, uh, me, Ann, and uh, Damon, yeah, it's a lot of fun for all of us, and I was over here, like... <laughs> Like what? Over there. <laughs> Wait, Will's Will's played a lot of Halo too. Yeah. Not anymore. Not, not after the last time I played. To? Yeah, uh, Halo I've been. Yeah, we yeah, Halo you three. I can play Halo? Yeah, I, I'm, yeah, I play Halo almost every day now. So yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My bad. You just got caught in the crossfire. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Raleigh was a trip because like Sentinels hit me up like last minute, and then we didn't have any practice. Right. So it was just like a. I mean, let's just hope for the best. And honestly, we could have probably kept going. We like just choked the series completely versus Phase. Yeah. That's who we got knocked out by. Um, but yeah, beating Optic was like weird. Like, I don't know. Uh, they, they were they were definitely a better team than us. Right. Right. They had a lot more team workmanship, but I don't know. It's just like it's just how tournaments are, right? It's, it's just whoever good plays that better you for have something minutes. to like fall back into because when we, I mean, I retired in 2014. You retired in 2014, and there really wasn't like there wasn't a whole lot to do. Mm-hmm. This year, retirement we, was kind of willing. Yeah. Right. H1Z1. Was kind of, there was some H1Z1, yeah. But as far as, like, playing other esports, I mean, I guess you could go into content. But you, like, you had a really... Uh, you've just touched on all these different parts of our community. You started with a player, and then you went on to work at a developer, and now you're yeah, sure. a coach, GM. You've literally touched, like, every facet <laughs> of the... Uh, I'm a man of all trades, you know. ...of the scene. What is that, what is that like? Because yeah, you see it from, like, a holistic yeah. point of view now you see the whole thing it's it's kind of wild like the first thing i'll touch on is like the idea that like everyone that plays the game expects the developers to know everything in and out about the game like yeah that's how i used to be like it's it's not like the players no we don't what do you mean no we don't we don't expect them to know everything okay well some people do yeah, some people really expect really like literally i'd say i'd say the i'd say the mass expects like the the dev to just know everything about like if i were to ask you one thing about like a Let's say I show up to at, at Sledge right now. Oh, tell them like, okay, I, I, I'm like, what's I the fire rate on this gun? They'd be like, I'm like, wait a second. Wait. Okay, I took that a different way. Okay, 910 RPMs. Yeah, something like that. But yeah, no, it was it's, it was malicious. super interesting to see how things are done. It's definitely <laughs> in general, it's a lot harder than people think. Yeah, um, on the developer side. Yeah, definitely. For uh, this is funny actually for my involvement to Sledgehammer. So Black Ops Two champs, we were warming up for our winners final match against you guys, and. Dr. Disrespect worked at Sledgehammer, Michael Condry and Greg Reisdorf. Greg Reisdorf still works there. Michael Condry runs a different studio now, but three of them came up and like, were asking players questions about the game and were like, 
like, what do you think makes this game cool? And I was like, ah, oh, like we were talking about like three lane maps, like the weapon balancing and like, it was almost like an interview for me because they, they were at Sledge and then the following year I ended up working for them. Yeah. And they kind of sought me out when they saw I, I got dropped for the last time. But. Wait, when did this happen? Um, when did you work at Sledge? Uh, during Ghost. Like, so two weeks after Black Ops or Ghost Champs, after we got second, I got dropped. They picked up Parasite. And then about two weeks after that is when, like, the people from Activision slash Sledge. And you said, fuck it, I'm done? Well, I didn't. <laughs> it's not, it wasn't that, but, like, it was weird for me because I was, I was at, at Envy House under a visa. So, like, I was in the oh, States on a, on a P1. I was the first player to get a P1. And I was there... Like I couldn't just switch teams. Yeah, I would have to get a whole new visa. So it was like a weird situation where, like, yeah, I wasn't I wasn't rushing to go on another team, but like at the same time, I was like, this seems like a lot of. Do I want to even want to deal with that? Yeah, yeah, I was gonna wait until the year was over, and then it's probably a good time because you on jetpacks, I would have been swimming around in your cheeks. I would have been. <laughs> This kid's just, just I think we need to talk about the story at EG was the EGL eight where uh, this man was like oh, shivering yeah, in his I boots. That. Oh, Dude, it. they yeah, opened that. the garage. Yeah, door. this guy. It was the only the you only event about, we lost the whole year. You talk about breaking. You cost it, bro. We could have won yeah, the event. Bro, Literally three oh, before he broke, we bro. He was shivering. He was shaking. He wouldn't call out. He wouldn't call out. He was doing terrible. It was so. All he was doing was complaining about the coldness. I was like, I was like. We were we'll win three oh, four. We're playing we went from like having the here. best time in the game to playing three I was 15 years old. I was in Europe and they <laughs> like, opened the fucking I was like, just garage. Where I was I'll losing composure. <laughs> like, and we barely, like we barely, we were up, well, actually we, we were up 3-1 we in a series of continuation. Files, like, yeah. We were up 3-1 because it's continuation of the oh, So it was all his fault, yeah. you think? Oh, 100%. Yeah. Mom, <laughs> was that, it? that was the only loss like the that, only tournament that's the only loss I'll ever blame someone for losing yeah. literally oh my you were god. the reason Damn, why we lost that really tournament <laughs> <laughs> oh my god wait not even Black Ops won Nats no no oh I mean that was god. pretty close that was pretty close wait, but okay never mind there's two moments what was that <laughs> so, that so wasn't me was we, it no no we played actually we played you guys no, no, it was a no we lost actually someone lost the already we already lost right so it was it was the one that one wasn't it the the what is it called the constellation the constellation match like we were playing for fifth six against you guys? Yeah. I think. Oh, I'm pretty sure it happened before. Before that, that anyway, it was the one. But our lost. team, our team was Bobby, Damon, and Revan, Bob, Coach Bobble. Yeah. And we were doing okay. We we're actually pretty solid. It would and be he, whoever's team Dito was. He on. showed up. He showed up like high as a kite. Who? Who for our, for our match, Bobby. Oh. Like, you don't know. Oh, like, Hamley. Yeah. Hamley. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like his, 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 yo, that's my boy. <laughs> he was. I heard. He, I heard he's the best names in the game. Maybe, but like, he's he was the best. He was just faded. He was just fucking shit. high as hell. Just, <laughs> just, <laughs> we just we got him. I got your help. <laughs> just launching him over yo. firing range. Oh my but literally, God. he showed up to a match, and I've never like at least you were complaining about something. This guy was a total mute, like for for the dude, full match. Okay, and his parents were behind, and I was just like, like, dude, are you good? And he was just like. Bro, bro, let me let me set let me set yeah. the scene, bro. We're in Europe. We're playing for like fifteen hundred each for first place. That's more than that. Twenty five hundred each. Straight passion. <laughs> oh, it was a passion for sure. It was a passion. But event. we went to Europe to play video games. Like, come we on, bro. Did. Like, I was lit. The, definitely lost. I was fifteen so years old. Fifteen years old. Fucking child. They open the garage door. It's literally, it was, it was negative AM. outside. It was, yeah, it was cool. It was it negative was cool. degrees outside. They open the garage door on our side of the main stage. So it hits me and first. You were sitting on the far And right. Mad Cat's no, on the other was. side like, you fucking want yeah, that? Me, you. <laughs> and I'm just sitting there left, like. Bitch. <laughs> he was, we were hitting him when you were on the far left. Oh It was me, little Joey, and you are seated. Freaking wuss. Wuss. <laughs> I guess literally, I, but I'm not I'm not saying dude, it's like I like, literally I'm not, there's no over exaggeration as to like how <laughs> like he might have had three call outs in like the f five or six maps we played. Seth. Like No, it was not that bad. Oh it was oh, it was horrendous. Shame on you. It was horrendous. Cause to enough. start with you went you to Europe with your boys. Like and you were more out. of a listener, like you wouldn't call out that much, <laughs> but at least you'd call out red dots, bro. Like and this guy would like between maps like, bro, I'm so cold. I can't do you this. You were probably losing four. Like, I'm like, <laughs> it's losing a like, bunch. And in between Dude, maps, they opened the garage door and it was we literally like zero degrees. We were like the smart team that So we're like, in between maps, we're like, keep reminding ourselves like the basics and like what like, we're doing stat-wise. so fucking cold. Like literally, it was like, <laughs> he was like, what is this kid all about? Just shut up. Like, it Dude, it was like so cold. It was one of those times where I might have cost it, but at that moment, I could not have cared less. I was losing my fucking mind. <laughs> that they makes it worse. They opened the garage that. doors. That is on the event organ. Imagine if they did some shit like that they today. They might have did it on purpose. Who Imagine knows? if they know. did some shit like that they, today. Hey, Loki would have done on purpose. Yeah, like it's too hard. Wait, no, that was the only <laughs> event we lost the whole year. Yeah. And you cost it. And Ego's house. And I cost it. Ego's house. 
It'd be one of the only in a event without you. Ego toss? Yeah. I'm not saying you're just, you were definitely, you, know, you were the best player in that game. Like, there's no debate. Like, I, I definitely think you were the best player. Yeah, you're but lucky. but it was to a, show you, to show you how good your team was, we could win without you. Oh so my all God. you needed to do at that event is just not be a freaking complete troll and shock our whole comms and just play and we probably would have won that anyways. We didn't. <laughs> Yo, Matt. I was literally 15 Like, you were a negative teammate, bro. Game at Ego's Beach House. What? So, yeah, you were 15 in Europe. I was 15 in Europe fucking piecing. <laughs> <laughs> he was like 23, and I'm getting blamed. You were 15. I was 15 or 16. I wasn't old. Gotta grow up someday, kid. Call out. That was when I grew up. That no, day you were old. That you were 16 at least, because the next year was Black Ops 2. Yeah, and you I played champ 17. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, mofos dropped my ass, That's assholes. That was some alpha shit. Were most of the events that you're in overseas? Yeah, yeah. every event besides one. Oh shit. Yeah, because we because we had I mean we had land the year before Black Ops 1, and then like we just went from like Treyarch yeah. carrying yeah. with features. We're talking about like we're talking about we're we're talking about something as basic, basic as land, dude. We went from like we went from what was it that was it was go or Black Ops One Star. We had lands, we had events, and then the next year they're like, sorry, we're not doing land support. You don't have podcasts or anything. Like, and they took off the circuit, right? Yeah, they took off circuit. Yeah, because there's no like to run it. They had online. Do <laughs> like, yeah. Dude, that must have been panda pandemonium. Yeah, we're not giving you land, and uh, your game's off MLG now. I hope you enjoyed yeah. your one year. You guys are enjoy Black Pool. Basically. You're like what? <laughs> I can't. I don't even remember that. Yeah, it was, dude, dude like, we, Make everyone's so bad. quick to forget the worst and just, like, in the moment, like, ah, oh, things are as bad as, this no, is terrible, this we literally over. left Optic so we could get, like, a $500 a month stipend and play in Europe. And we never got that stipend. No. <laughs> we didn't? No. Hell no. From so Apex. Much, yeah, from Apex. How much are we owed? Uh, I'd say probably, like, two, two, three K each. Yeah. Shit, Bill Kenny. I don't know, I think it was, I think, <laughs> was it pounds? Yeah. Pounds? Yeah. Pounds? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, literally, like, I actually think, who was, uh, uh, Deserto Mike. Mike. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Like he he got us. He he met us at the airport. There's no shot we would have made it to the venue if it wasn't for him. Really? Oh, because we had like we landed in Manchester. We had to take a train, like two different trains oh. to Blackpool, and then cab from Blackpool to the, the actual so, hotel. Probably with no service. Oh no! Yeah, exactly. We're like at the time, so like, folks were, like so. Yeah, I was so. It was such a weird like. It was, it was low key probably like the coolest event I've been to like from a community standpoint. There was like 97 team that showed up to like a big local, basically. Oh, it was wild. We were like the only team. Yeah. We were like the only one, and then the first time, and then there was two or three to second one, and then there was like five or like six. NA teams, you mean? Yeah, NA teams. Yeah. So you guys just went over there like NA, like like Europe's reckoning yeah. at first. Dude, Tommy, was like, we're the only you, you Tommy was talking so much trash about us. Really? Like they were the best team. Like they, they were the Apex EU team at the oh, time. Oh, okay. It was, it was like, like him, Gataga, Jared. Prof. Prophecy, and I can't remember who the report Gunch, was. Gunchy. Gunchy, yeah. See, yeah. how did I know that? I yeah, didn't the, fucking play. Yeah. I'm well, telling we, you I know yeah. that shit. So they were, they were like the best team, and we showed up. We didn't even get to play them. They lost before they got to us. We lost one map the whole time. Just ran. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting my They're first like, class ticket back home. Feeling better than I ever been. Cairo in his bag. This beat is heaven sin. Back up in my element. New whip. Trunk up in the front. I whip an elephant. It's all limo tip. That's how you move when you the president. You ass and off stream. Treat them like my last name. Disrespecting. You just signed a check for a long day. Appetizer rappers. 